All right, well, this is my bed for tonight. I'm here in the treehouse I built. Um, this is gonna be the first overnight here, and I can tell you right now, it's not gonna be any, not gonna be a comfortable one, because I'm sitting on the floor while I'm sitting in the bed. Oh, so, hmm. see how that, <laughs> see how that's gonna go. But um, thanks for clicking on the video. I do appreciate it, as I always say. Um, yeah, tonight we're gonna do an overnight in a treehouse. I'm gonna cook up a meal in the shelter, and then I'll come back up here and spend the night in here. Try it out, see how it goes, see what improvements I need to make. So if you haven't checked out the other videos on my channel, check them out. Um, there may be something there you're interested in, maybe not, but um, might be many things you're interested in. Um, at the end of the video, if you like what you, what I've done here. I'm not liking it so far, but who knows what you like. Um, but if you do like the video, if it turns out alright and improves from here on in, um, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Either way, at least it's uh, some sort of interaction from uh, viewers. Leave a comment if you want. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go um, get a fire going, get some food cooked, and um, yeah, see how the night pans out. Thanks, guys. Oh! flat. I'm going to be cooking um, eggs in this and I don't want them all running to one side. So, something like that. Send it on the flames, keep the handle to the side so it doesn't heat up too much. I've got a rag that I can wrap around it. Don't have the gloves with me again. I always seem to forget them. Anyway, alright I'll see how I go. Um, I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick this up but it's quite smoky in here. So let's get some oil in the jar. Put that in there. So for tonight's dinner, I've got some sausages. These are um, feta and feta and rosemary. And their um, lamb. So I'm going to do half tonight, and then I'll do the other half for breakfast. Oh, smoky! So I'll just let them cook, and just just like cooking a sausage. I don't know, how do you guys cook sausages? I just put them in a hot pan and let them do their thing. So what I'm going to have with these, I've got some eggs as well. 
Now it's got wraps. I'm just going to have sausages and eggs in wraps. Wow. Oopsie. One's still a bit runny. But, um, well, I've got one to eat, so I'm going to eat that first. So I've just got my um, sausage there, a bit of egg on top. Fold the end in, just eat it like a wrap. Oh, that's good. Feta and rosemary um, lamb sausages are nice. I rate them very highly. Chopsticks. Because this pan is so heavy, it, um, doesn't get too hot. So I'm just going to keep this fire going because I want to make a coffee after this. Pretty good. Morning guys, well, 
I say it was a oh, comfortable night's sleep, it'd be a, a lie. Um, yeah, just it wasn't the worst night sleep I've ever had, but I found I spent most of the night curled up in a fetal position. So if I curled up, I'm gonna curl up like this. My um, my, my um, back and everything was elevated. My head was up, but my legs were more flat. Um, when I stretched out. When I stretched out, my legs would be up in the air like that, my head would be up in the air like that. I'd be somewhere in the middle. Um, oh. Certainly, um, certainly a lot of birds around this morning. Uh, I've heard some deer barking up the hill. Uh, just warning, warning barks of deer, but... Uh, um, so, plan for this morning... <clears throat> is to um, get the fire going and um, cook those remaining sausages up. I got a couple of eggs there. I'm gonna cook differently. I'm gonna cook them in the coals. So like just make a hole in the end of the egg and stand them upright in the coals and let them cook in their shell. And then you just peel the shell off afterwards. Well, that's the plan. Um, I mean they they may crack and break as I'm. As I'm uh, cutting them open, or cutting the hole in the end. <sighs> Alright, I better make a move. And, um, greet the day. <coughs> yeah. Alright. <sighs> I didn't get much sleep last night, so my brain's still catching up with me, so forgive me if I'm rambling or something. But I um, thought I'd just show you around the shelter. Um, if you've watched the other videos, you would have seen it already. If you haven't watched the other videos, this is the shelter. Um, and I'll take you on a bit of a guided tour. There's not much to it. Tree houses in the background, so they're real close together. But um, all right, I'll take you around and, and give you a look. So starting out with, that's the um, bushcraft canoe that I built over there. Um, bamboo frame and just um, canvas or tarp on the outside. All right, so this is the shelter. The fire's going, getting down to the coals that I need. Um, it's pretty basic. It's a um, chair I built. If you um, haven't seen the video on that, it's a bushcraft chair. Um, what I have added to it since the video was this extra rail here just to bring it out level um, so it backs its level when you're reclining I've got a canvas bed that actually works it's just lashed to a frame uh, around that side I've got a shelf that you see as I walk through the smoke so the shelf So the shelf, I've got that hinged off the back there and the other end and so I can lift that up and lock it up out of the way when I'm not using it and it 
just drop it back down when I am using it. I can just put gear on it. So the walls are bamboo, split bamboo, and then the roof is canvas. Oh, that's the paddle for the canoe and the frames for the outriggers. Um, but if you watch that canoe video, you can you can see all that. But that's what you get when you're laying on the bed looking up at the roof. You get this sort of teepee, teepee effect happening. And if I stand up in the smoke, so as you can see, the air can get out through there. But, um, yeah, that's the shelter. Um, and of course there's this fireplace and that lump at the back there. I've actually got a, um, there's an air vent, runs down through, out through the wall. So it draws the cool air in to um, get a bit more air into the fire and help it burn hotter and produce less smoke. That's the uh, that's the idea anyway. All right, so my plan with the eggs are, with two eggs, a big heap of smoke, cooking the egg in its shell in the in the coals. Obviously, if you put the whole egg in like that, it could explode. So you make a hole in the end, stand it upright in the coals and let it cook in its shell. So that's what I'm going to try. I'm not worried about them getting dirty because they're going to be in the coals in a minute anyway. So all I'm going to do is take the, the blunt end. So you get a pointy end and a blunt end. In that blunt end, I'm going to try to make a little hole without cracking the whole egg. I'll do it here in case I stuff it. Alright, so you just do a bit of a drilling action. And when you get through, you crack the whole egg. Alright, so you end up with a hole in the egg like that. And I'll stand that there for now. cut down the smoke in here. I do have um, heaps of bamboo outside so I can make a um, little tube to blow the fire but you want to just make a small hole. Just slowly chip away at the edge. Man, this fire is hot. Little, little piece I've just taken out of it there. All right, and that's all it is. Now I've got some coals over here. Just make a little farrow in there, so a little groove. And I can just sort of stand the egg up. I don't want them right next to each other because then there'll be too much. And then. It's just a matter of trying to get the coals back around them to cover them in so they can actually cook. Now, whether or not this works. Oh, I've got a face full of smoke. Whether or not this works or not, your guess is as good as mine. But. Chopsticks coming Alright, so the eggs are on, pans on, let that heat up a little bit, and I'll um get my remaining sausages on from last night. So make myself a coffee because I'm famished.
I can see those eggs turning white through that hole that I made. So the um, egg white is actually cooking. So that's a good thing. Um, have no idea how long to leave them. I'm just gonna, just gonna leave them on there. Um, I want them hard boiled anyway, so I can cut them up to put on my um, <coughs> on my wraps. So um, yeah. Nice sausages. Let it cook for a while, and uh, I'm going to go and get out of the smoke. didn't get that on film, but one of my eggs uh, decided to explode. Um, well, I helped it along a little bit. So the hole I made in the top was was all right, but I didn't actually rupture the um, the membrane. And then I was, the other one was cooking faster because it's closer to the fire. So I packed holes around this one and I was blowing on it to get a fair bit of heat into it. And uh, yeah, just <laughs> detonated and fired the yolk, which was cooked. Shot that out there and I, Good egg everywhere so yeah anyway the eggs are cooked sausages are cooked um, the water's pretty close to boiling good enough I'm, I'm just thirsty for a, for a coffee so I'm gonna make up my wraps and um, have my breakfast my exploded egg is my not not exploded egg. Ow. Beautiful. Oh. Certainly juicy. Uh, going fancy today, a little cappuccino sachet thing. So, I have to find the end to open. Okay. Just like a port cappuccino. down enough that I can actually drink it. Put that there, put that there. These eggs are going to be hot. I didn't think that through. Well, I can do. Improvise some gloves. This is just um, paper bark. Um, Australian paper bark tree and it just makes a real good real good tinder I could just well, I could get it in the fire oh it's smoky alright so I should be able to use it to hold it smells like an egg so that's a good thing Really hot though. 
So, probably something you should cook and definitely cook and then let it cool down. Did it eat it cold? Alright, so I've got that one shelled. I don't know if you can see it there. Shelled. I'm just going to stick that in there for now. And I'll address this other one. So this one you can see it. Yeah, where it's detonated. This guy's a bit more overcooked when the shell is actually sticking to the shell is actually sticking to the um, to the egg. And it kind of tastes like rubber. Well, it's got a texture of rubber. I mean if you're hungry. If you're hungry, you eat anything. So I'm hungry. Now what I need to do, I'm throwing all this in here, but when the fire cools down, I'm gonna take out the coals, clean up all the ground here, take it all and get it away from the shelter just to um, reduce the amount of rodents that are going to be coming around. Um, don't have to worry about bears in Australia, but you don't want mice and rats coming around your shelter for two reasons. Firstly, you don't want mice and rats in your shelter. But secondly, snakes will go where the food source is. So, if you're around water holes, rivers and stuff with it, frogs, you get snakes. If you've got bird cages, aviaries, you've got bird seed falling through, or in a shelter like this with the, um, if I've got food on the ground, it tracks rodents, snakes will come looking for the rodents. So. I want to, um, yeah, I don't want to have rodents. I don't want to have snakes. So, see what this looks like on the inside. I hope it's not rubbery like the other one. Well, it didn't run everywhere. So it's cooked beautifully. All right, I'm going to put that on my wrap. Just as good as last night. With uh, bits of burnt stuff, and rubberized, rubberized egg. What could be better? Well, I think we've reached the end of the video. So I disappear into smoke. I think we're going to wrap the video up um, as the camera disappears in the smoke. While well, I eat this last one, I'm going to call the video done. Thanks for watching. I'll try to keep it um, interesting for you. Don't know if I've succeeded. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, show your support. Um, you can also show your support by subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Once you've subscribed, you can hit the bell icon so you um, get a notification each time I put a new video up post them pretty regularly but um, for now guys I'm calling it done and uh, yeah thanks again for watching I do appreciate it and I'm gonna sit back here enjoy my breakfast and then uh, clean up a bit thanks guys see you next time